people hello africa welcome once again to let's chat africa with me your girl lazy <clears throat> from uganda the power of africa and as usual i'm always with maggie from kenya the pride of africa and today she will not be here with us because of some emergencies but trust me she'll be available in the next videos and today i have something special something beautiful Remember, when we are starting Let's Chat Africa, as you know, the, the name says Let's Chat Africa. So I know all along we've been watching Uganda, Kenya, but this time we've decided to walk you all the way to the other part of Africa, and that is West Africa. And guess who the special lucky one is? Cameroon. <laughs> So my viewers, our viewers, let's chat Africa viewers. I mean, what is it that you know about Cameroon? I, for myself, I didn't know so much about Cameroon. Even, even though we did history, we did geography, I didn't know so much about Cameroon. And there is a lot for me and the rest of you, our viewers, to learn from Cameroon. Do you know even the food they eat? Do you know the bordering countries of Cameroon? Do you know the language they speak? Do you know how big they are? What is it so special about Cameroon? Just like we say, Uganda, the pearl of Africa. Kenya, the pride of Africa. Sumeria, the horn of Africa. So we want to know, Cameroon is who are you? Where do you stand when we talk about Africa? What is it special you bring on that table? What is it that you add to Africa to be the Africa that it is? And all of this, I have my friend, my guests, none other than my sister from another mother from west africa and she'll introduce herself she will tell us more about africa and in particular this video they always have a function from their tribe from their side of cameroon she will talk about us she will take us through what is that function called how is it important to the people of cameroon and how is it so important that they even get to celebrate it here in america that is what made me want to know about this particular cameroon because when i saw the whole thing i was like wow so people still celebrate their cultures live around marriages and other other functions i'm talking about culture when i talk about culture like buganda kingdom in uganda you understand busoga kingdom in uganda you understand when we talk about culture so this particular cameroon particular tribes they have their culture their kingdom their chips and i picked interest in this one when i've already seen my friend posting these things around and celebrating it almost area so i decided to bring cameroon on table and that is where our journey will begin to bring other people from africa and we discuss africa okay so i'm excited i am very very excited and i believe my brothers from all over the world let me say if our brothers who have not who were born in america born in europe born in asia born in any part of the world but you are african you are from cameroon this is the video for you come and learn about cameroon share the knowledge get to know and to those that are from cameroon and you don't come from particularly my friend this side you can also holler at me send me a message Put a comment and tell me more or you can also invite me so that we can put you here and tell the world more about africa we are making africa proud we are trying to bring the stories that we should be able to tell by ourselves we are telling the stories i always tell people let's tell the stories let our children our sisters and our brothers that have never had a chance to travel to africa or to be raised in africa come to let's chat africa and get the facts right don't go to Google and find out that, oh, actually, in Africa, they eat monkeys. Uh-uh. Please ask me, do you eat monkeys? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll tell you yes or no. So, please, we are here to tell the stories. And this particular video is dedicated to all my friends in West Africa. Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Guinea, everyone, and Africa at large. So, enjoy the video. As we come back, my guests will come in and tell us more about Cameroon. The few videos, the clips you will see, those are part of the functions, the cultural functions that I've been talking about. And 
I hope you learn. I hope you enjoy. And this will make me, you will make me and you pride in Africa. Okay? So when we come back, it's gonna be Cameroon on the screen. Okay, see you. Hello Africa, my name is Judin Genge and I must say I'm so excited to be here today to talk about my country Cameroon. For those who do not know Cameroon, Cameroon is a country found in West Africa and it is bordered by other Central African countries. So we are like in between West and Central Africa. Cameroon is a, a bilingual country. That is to say we have two official languages. We have the French and English that have been spoken in Cameroon. Uh, we should note that Cameroon doesn't just speak uh, English and French. We have about 200 different tribes that are in Cameroon. So we have about 200 different languages that have been spoken by the indigenous Cameroonians. All right, Cameroon is also known as the African miniature. That is due to its geographical and uh, cultural diversity. Cameroon is made up of uh, 10 different regions. And out of those 10 regions, eight of those regions are French-speaking uh, Cameroonians, while two of the regions are made up of the English-speaking Cameroonians. And I am... Uh, um, I'm from one of the English speaking uh, regions, which is the Southwest region, and specifically I am from Boya, which is the uh, headquarter of the Southwest region. All right, so I would like to talk about the Baquarians, that is the people found in Boya. So I am from um, the, I am an English speaking Cameroonian, I am from the Southwest region of Cameroon. To be precise, I am from Boya, so I am a Bakwarian, and our language is known as the Mokwe language. So we recently had a coronation of our paramount chief. Chief Robert Isuka Indeli that took place uh, last month, the uh, March 2022, and we had a whole lot of uh, back culture that was being displayed. <laughs> no, man, no, man, no. This is the elephant dance of the Bakuri land. On his shoulders now lies the responsibility to preserve and promote the culture of the Bakri people. In unity, traditional rulers, kingmakers and the population vested in His Royal Highness Dr. Robert Isuka Endeli the power to lead his people. And I'm really impressed by what uh, I'm seeing, what is going on and uh, I think I'm glad to be here. We hope that he's going to uh, lift up the lives of the people of uh, the chiefdom he controls. He is now expected not just to restitute the Bakri tradition but also maintain the harmonious coexistence in place. He should try by all possible means to see that the culture of the Bakri people does not fade and it does not die. We have certain uh, Bakri cultural uh, courts. That have, that have been abandoned because uh, we are giving him the power now to, to bring them back as the way before. And all of us, we have to mobilize behind him. Sons and daughters of FACO Division from far and wide were all present to show their unflinching support to their ruler as they await the official ceremony this Saturday. In fact, I saw a whole lot of uh, um, cultural manifestations that I grown up in the village. I never had the opportunity to see, maybe because some of them are dying away or something. But 
I didn't see, I didn't know of a whole lot of uh, these traditional manifestations that uh, were being displayed during the coronation ceremony. So we have different traditional dances. Uh, we have the church dance, we have the Malay dance, we have the Lingombi dance, we have the Elongi, as you can see in some of the videos and pictures. We have this notorious one, which is the Malay dance, and uh, they call it the elephant dance. because it is believed that uh, a whole lot of people who are in this uh, cult, they have elephants in the bush. I growing up, I sometimes you hear maybe if somebody dies, who was in the Mali uh, 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 cult, that will say, oh, this person died because his elephant was being killed in the bush. So it, it is believed that uh, some of these people who have mystical powers, they have uh, um, elephants in the bush, and so sometimes you hear, oh, this person is, um, needs to take care of his elephant. This person went to go and buy some, uh, uh, some, some protection for his elephant. So the hunters cannot kill his elephant in the forest and things like that. So that is how much, uh, uh, um, the Bakuri people are, are strong in, in traditional, uh, um, activities and things like that uh, we have a traditional um dish we have different traditional dishes but we have this uh, popular one which is known as uh, kwakoko we have the kwakoko bible and uh, the timbanambusa they are all made up from a uh, uh, grated kokoyam and so the kwakoko bible is um Cocoyam that has been grated and mixed with other ingredients and palm oil and then cooked like a pudding. It is delicious, really delicious. And we have this timbanambusa. Timbanambusa means uh, 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 when you go ahead, you must come back. So they they, they, they call it timbanambusa because it they believe it's a, a, a very delicious dish that when you eat it, you must come back and ask for more. And so it's a... a Grated coco yam that uh, the grater I tie with uh, with plantain leaves and then um, it, they eat it with uh, the palm nut soup and it is delicious. I must say it is delicious. So those are some of the traditional uh, um, things that we have that the Bakwe people have. So hello my African people, the Let's Chat Africa lovers, viewers, subscribers and everyone. I think you all enjoyed everything my friend has talked about Cameroon. You've like appreciated the beauty of Cameroon. You've appreciated the fact that they have English and French speaking. I can imagine being in Cameroon and I can speak both French and English. I love French. I love my languages, but I love learning more. It's good to be linguistic. It's good to, to learn different, different tribes or different, different languages. So I hope you've loved the video. I hope you've enjoyed everything. And my Cameroonian community, please subscribe, share the video, bring on more people. So as we come from Cameroon, we shall go to Ghana, we shall go to Nigeria, we shall go to Gambia, Zambia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, we shall go to Somalia, Sudan, everywhere, Guinea, Kong. We'll reach out to the world to let the people know, to let the world know what Africa is made of. We are telling our own stories and we are proudly Africans. As I end this video, I always tell you the same thing you always say. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you do right now, never forget who you are and where you come from. And that is being African, loving yourself, parading in who you are and letting the world know that we are proudly Africans. And when you do that, it means you love yourself, you love who you are, you believe in yourself, and you are proud of where you're coming from. And that is what makes you where you're coming from, not where you've reached, but where you're coming from. You can be in Asia, you can be in America, you can be in Europe, you can be everywhere in this world. But where you're coming from and where you come from, 
is very very important so thank you so much for watching thank you my girlfriend my friend my sister from another mother for honoring my invitation for giving in your time and to share the information with the let's chat africa people we've been very honored we've loved everything and i'll call it a day thank you so much and i'm out of here bye bye